So we're, we're thrilled to be here and be a part of Purple. Um, for, for Sam, you know, our journey with Purple started a while ago. It was back in uh, 2019 that we, we joined Purple. And some of the things that we saw back then was the platform vision. And it's been talked about quite a bit today. And I thought some of what might be interesting for folks is like, what has it been like for a small startup to join at the forefront of something like Purple and kind of go through this, this journey and where are we today? And what are some of the things that we face as we continue to, to move forward as an application developer on top of the Purple platform inside of the, the ecosystem here? So for us, our, our initial experience was working with the security working group. And for anybody that's started to work with Purple so far, you can imagine that as a security provider and all of the different things we do, it's not just the, the security working group. You suddenly realize, well, you've also got to talk to the high-level API group, and you're going to be a container, so you've got to be in the LCM working groups, and there's the Purple OS group, and then there's the low-level API group, and it can feel a little bit overwhelming at times. But the last little while here, especially the lead up to this event, it's been incredible to see everything come together and some of the Tiger teams and the support that's existed out there uh, as an app provider to be able to, to start really moving forward with some of the things that, that we look for as a security vendor to, to get all the way through. So it's been a long journey, but we see huge upside. And, and we mentioned it during one of the panels this morning. If app developers are looking for this, if you're talking to investors that are out there, I speak to our investors on a regular basis. It's a very exciting world when you start to have a, a platform to build off of and everything that you need to focus on your unique capabilities and abilities start to exist there. So when we look back, you know, an application without a platform running on a CPE, it's expensive. All you're doing is integrating. You're talking to everybody. You're coordinating across every party that exists out there. You're talking to the OEM, the ODM, the chipset manufacturer, the operator. You're trying to get multi-party NDAs in place and you spend more time doing paperwork than you do innovating at times. And it's not an exciting place to be as a small startup. You wanna be innovating, delivering your features and going out and, and bringing those features to the world and bringing great software experiences out to those end users and the consumers of the operators and of the CPEs. You can do it as a container. You can do it natively. Um, we've done both. But running something onto a CPE where you've got to do that level of coordination, it's an incredible amount of effort. So this was a big, huge reward for us to see some of the standards bodies that have come together and some of the work that's been done so that we can write a container, put it onto that LCM framework, and then be able to port it across things. So very expensive, very time consuming approach, doesn't drive the best of a consumer experience. You also end up in a spot where your consumer experience may be limited by any one of those partners that I mentioned already. So as you start to think, I've got a CPE with this chipset, I've got a CPE with a different chipset. You may end up with two different experiences. So your consumers, as an operator, you're trying to deliver the same feature set and the same product out to your consumers, they may end up being completely different in an approach where you've got to be dependent on every one of those steps inside of that value chain. So where are we today? I'd say we're, we're moving towards purple. So we can run as a container on the LCM framework, we can run some things through the high level API, we got to run a lot of things direct still as the, the APIs continue to mature for the, that a security group uh, needs. So not all the, the APIs are 100% are there. So we'll go with the native access when and where required. We're really looking forward to the day that it's not required and we can go direct. You know, what's, what's in this for us is that application portability. But we have the ability through the frameworks that exist today to start to share data as an application that, that lives on that CPE. And that, that's one thing I didn't hear talked about a, a tremendous amount yet today, is the ability to have an application that provides data and shares data and services with other applications. So when you build an ecosystem on top of a, of a platform, as an app provider, you can start to work with other app providers and share information, share data, and really up the game and the experience that may exist on, on that, uh, that CPE and that device. So there's a huge opportunity, not just as an app provider to run on a platform, but for app providers themselves to start to, to collaborate with each other. 
And one of the things I think we're really thankful at, at SAM to see is the number of app providers that are here this year and the continuing growth in the ecosystem to support that because we're gonna see the, the new ideas show up, the ways that we can collaborate and the ways that we can push Purple and the, the foundation to move all of those APIs forward at speed, as folks talked about earlier this morning. And speed is essential to, to bring great applications out to, to end consumers. So once we become an app that sits on top of Purple, it's portable. This is like the greatest thing about writing an application. How many folks um, remember the early days of mobile apps? You, know, you either got something for iOS or you got it on Android, but the two never crossed each other along the way. And then some of the other platform plays came into play and you could write an application once and kind of move it across things and some web portability came into play and it made it easy to take an application and move it a, a, across items. That's what we're looking for here. The ability to write our application, focus on our applications, and then move it across any CPE, regardless of the chipset. You know, when I, when I think about mobile applications, I don't think who's the processor inside the device, what's the operating system gonna be, what are all of these little intricate variables. I know that I can deliver an application that'll give the same experience across any of those. It's kind of like asking somebody, what chipset's in your Windows PC? Most consumers don't know, nor do they care. They just know that they have a Windows computer and they've got an application that runs on it. That's the world that you want to see as a, as a part of a, a CPE. That CPE is going to be the, the baseline inside the home as time goes on. It'll always be there. It's always connected and available to run applications off of. So this, this lets you know, an app provider focus 100% on the experience they're bringing. Now, what else does that do? There was a lot of talk this morning about the life cycle of a device. When you can start to, to take an application that runs as a container and update it on a regular basis, add functionality, and go backwards over the life cycle of a device and add new features and new functions without saying, I need and then list out, I need the OS to change, I need the chipset manufacturer to do this, I need some cooperation over there, and then quickly, what does that turn into? And as soon as we're chatting over lunch today, that means the lawyers get involved. And the minute the lawyers get involved, we all know that innovation stops. So this is a framework that lets us continue to innovate and innovate on features and value and on the exciting things that consumers wanna see inside of their platform. So for us at SAM, you know, why is this important for us? So for us, we have a couple of applications and we provide a couple of things. We provide cybersecurity solutions and we provide observability solutions. And having a single platform to run those off of makes it very easy for us to, to build those solutions and deliver functionality out to our consumer base, whether they be direct consumers or consumers through an operator or consumers of, of an OEM provider that we're working with. We have the ability to leverage that single platform and focus on our, our innovation. We also have the ability to take some of those things that we do directly where we run an end-to-end -end application and deliver them out as APIs that, that others can take advantage of. For us, observability is a, is a big word um, and it's the fundamental for, for all things security. In order to deliver security inside of a home, the first thing that we need to understand is what's on the network. What are those devices? And then the next thing we need to understand is what are those devices doing so that we can manage that activity and make sure that that activity is appropriate or, or block it or shut it down if it's inappropriate. Now, because we do that from a security perspective, we've learned from, from talking with operators around the world, this is important information for them to have to be able to deliver other experiences off of. So we've taken that data uh, of our engines there and made them available. And that, that information's available whether we run as an application on the CPE, uh, talking to other applications. So in this case, you know, we can improve the user experience. We could be a, a single view of what a device is across any application that, that resides on that CPE. So many times we've talked to uh, OEMs and, and operators and they've said, you know, every app that runs on our CPE today identifies a device. And when they identify the device, they do it with their method. So in one application, you may see a device identified with a host name. The next application may have a MAC address. 
and the next application may have an actual identification as to something because they did a, a Mac OUI lookup against the IEEE tables and, and made a guess. And in those guesses for IoT devices, they kind of fit a formula. City name in China, technologies, corporation, limited, something, Inc. And every one of them shows up that way in the IEEE registry. So if I ask my mother to go into a CPE that looks like that and manage a device, you know, think of like the grandkids' devices that are doing something they shouldn't on the network, she has no hope as to follow that device from one app to the next inside of, of there. So being able to surface up what that device is in a unified fashion is something that we can do, and then leveraging that purple framework, we can just simply extend that information over across UBUS and let other applications ingest that and use it and not need to run the, the same service. Now at the same time, we do that for what a device is doing on the network, and then we bring that data back up to a cloud interface as well so that your end user applications can also access that. And those can be used for anything from operator intelligence to user experience to family dashboards, digital living, um, kind of the, the opportunities to use this information is, is almost endless. I spoke with one operator and they said, you know, this is fantastic. For the first time, I'm not going online and buying data about my own network from somebody else. I'm using real insights from my consumers' homes to help make proper business decisions instead of buying somebody else's data that, that's pure guesswork when it comes to, to my infrastructure. We do security as well. You know, SAM was founded on, on the basis of, of building cybersecurity solutions. And we approach the, this from three pillars here. Uh, one being router protection. So add a layer of protection around the router itself. And the thing to think about here is in that world without a platform approach, and you've got an operating system, you've got some firmware out there on the router, and a vulnerability pops up that somebody has determined is key, that vulnerability can take weeks to months in order to patch out there in, in the production environment. And that's just to patch it. We built a solution that lets us move the weeks to month to hours to days in order to take care of known vulnerabilities in the environment that's, that's out there. We built in network protection in order to stop uh, vulnerabilities from crossing from one part of a network to another inside of a home, to stop malware, to protect the browsing of, of end users and everywhere that uh, a kid may decide to, to go to on the network. And we built in device protection for all of those IoT devices. When, when your own uh, talked on the panel this morning, he said, you know, Sam was founded to, to protect the unmanaged network from somebody who doesn't have a security expert managing that network. And that fits 99.99 plus percent of every home network that's out there, where the end users don't know anything about the actual security and how to protect those networks. So we've built a tremendous wealth of, of features that, that sit under the covers there and let us come in and, and protect those networks and protect the end users from things that may happen that, that they're not aware of. And this is all done seamlessly to the end user. So here at Purple, we're, we're thrilled to be able to, to do a demo of, of this um, for the first time for us running on Purple, uh, where we're, we're sitting on top of the stack. Um, you know, in order to make this, this happen, you know, I, I think you know, there's a number of Folks, I'd like to say thank you to, uh, you know, the, the folks that led the, the, the app Tiger team and put that together on a weekly basis, uh, over to, uh, to Mark at Comscope, um, to, uh, to Matthias at, at Max Linear especially. Uh, I think we had a, a lot of great support along the way here to, uh, to bring this together and make sure that we're, we're actually able to, to show this off, uh, off here today. So we do have a, a container where we're running part native, uh, direct calls and part way through, um, through the, the purple APIs and then make that information available through a sample app so that you can see that we are exchanging information and making it available in the OS uh, for other applications to, uh, to pick up and, and read. Uh, as well, you know, we're happy to demo the full security app and, and all of our products here. I uh, will be here um, all, all day today as well as uh, at Network X this week. So uh, hopefully you'll, you'll have the opportunity to come see us and, and take a, a deeper look at it. So thank you and uh, thanks to Purple for all the work they've uh, done over the past year.